Hi everyone, and welcome to this video. Today's big idea comes from psychiatrist Steve Peters in his life-changing book titled The Chimp Paradox. This book teaches us how to conquer our fears and operate with greater control, focus, and confidence. Let's begin with the oversimplified understanding of the human brain as it is presented in The Chimp Paradox. The brain is made up of three separate brains, the frontal, the limbic, and the parietal, from now on referred to as the human, the chimp, and the computer. The human live in your frontal lobe and is the real you. Humans work with evidence and search for proof. They remain open-minded and have the ability to change their minds and to see someone else's point of view. The human abide to rational thinking, use common sense, and evaluate if something is feasible and realistic. The chimp is an emotional machine that we all possess. It lives in your limbic system. It was born when you were born, but actually has nothing to do with you as a human. It is simply part of your machinery. Its purpose is to ensure your survival. It thinks independently from us and can make decisions on its own. The chimp needs to know that it is safe, so it continually looks for danger and is therefore very mistrusting and prone to paranoia. The computer is the storage area for thoughts and behaviors. It stores information that the chimp or human has put into it. It then uses this information to act for them in an automatic way. The chimp and human have different agendas, and therefore they operate by different principles. The chimp operates by the laws of the jungle, and is very much like a little child. It thinks in terms of black and white. It can be very unforgiven and will not discuss shades of gray. It interprets daily information with feelings and impressions. When it has a feeling for what is going on, it uses emotional thinking to put things together and make a plan of action. The human, on the other hand, operates by the rules and laws of society. It uses ethical and moral drives. It interprets information by searching for the facts and establishing the truth. When this is done, it puts things together using logical thinking and forms a plan. Both processes can be meaningful, but lead to different interpretations of what is happening and how to deal with it. When the two agrees, there is no problem. But when they disagree, the chimp is the most powerful and gains control of your thoughts and actions. However, if you recognize that this is happening and have a strategy for managing it, you can regain control and act in a logical manner. How do I manage my inner chimp, you ask? It all comes down to three steps. First, you have to recognize who is in charge, the human or the chimp. The golden rule is that whenever you have feelings, thoughts, or behaviors that you do not want or welcome, then you are being hijacked by your chimp. Then, you learn to understand the rules of how the brain works and accept these. In every situation and action, all input goes to the chimp first. It then decides if there is anything to worry about. If there is no concern, the chimp goes to sleep and hand over to the human. If the chimp, however, is concerned, it will make its own plan of action. The chimp is five times as strong as the human, so don't try to control it. Instead, you have to manage it. Finally, you have to nurture and manage your chimp to get the best result for you. First, you have to nurture your chimp. For example, if you have an aggressive and dominating chimp, then playing sport can be a socially acceptable way to fulfill this primitive drive. Furthermore, chimps are always looking for praise and recognition, so remember to provide this to your inner chimp. Once you have nurtured your chimp, it is time to manage it. There are three ways to manage your chimp. Exercise it, box it, or feed it bananas. You exercise your chimp by letting it vent. Let it say exactly what it is thinking, no matter how irrational it may be. Once the chimp is done and goes silent, it is time for the human to take action on any sensible issues raised and ignore all the nonsense. Always remember to exercise your chimp in a locked compound, meaning that you shouldn't scream at all your concerns in public, but find an appropriate time and place to do so. Once the chimp has finished exercising, it is ready to receive information from the human. Using facts, truth, and logic can calm the chimp down so you can reason with it. This is called boxing the chimp. The third way to manage your chimp is to feed it bananas in the form of either rewards or distraction. A distraction can, for example, be to read a book or listen to music, while a reward, for example, could be to allow yourself to have a piece of cake once you have finished folding the laundry. Remember that managing your inner chimp is not easy and that change takes time. Your chimp will always be alive and kicking. You must accept this fact and work with it. It is not good or bad, it is a chimp. It can be your best friend and your worst enemy, even at the same time. 
This is the Chimp Paradox. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel. Your support means the world to us. Take care and see you soon!